how you doing today? Uh, I have a video for you. Uh, this is a 1941 replica brush chrome. It was given to me by uh, Zen Toaster, a good friend of the channel. And I'm just going to be unboxing it for you today and uh, taking a look at the insert and seeing what we have inside. Uh, so we get the 1941 box. Uh, it doesn't have the sticker on it like they normally do saying it's a 1941. I think because it's already in the 41 box, it would just be a waste of a sticker at that point because you, you know what you're getting. Uh, the 35 box is also different. So we'll open her up and I take this out right away because this is my pet peeve is looking at this. I like to look at the guarantee like they used to do it. I don't know why it's flipped that side. So we'll take a look. American sticker on the back. Uh, if it was in Canada, this would all be French instead of Spanish. So let me just... Take that off, put that on the inside of the box, and put it back in guarantee side. That's what I like to do. All right, little smuts from the sticker there. So we got all the flat, four barrel. See how loose the hinge is from the factory. No, not that bad. That's why I love the four barrel, always better than a five. Uh, 41 insert, obviously, rivet hole, 14 chimney, inside brass, flat stock, April 2021, February 2021, uh, you can now see that it says 1941 replica instead of the patent number, uh, which I truly do miss, uh, for anybody who wants to see it, I guess I can show it to you real quick, I think, uh, this one right here, this 41 has it. This black ice 41. That's what it used to look like. And this is what we got now. So, and we opens all the way, obviously. So first things first, what are we going to do? We're going to take this insert apart. We're going to see how the 41 inserts are packed. Okay, uh, I'm just going to take this flint out now because I'm going to use it. I'm not going to use the 41 uh, insert. In here, I'm just going to use a butane one. So, uh, the butane inserts do fit in there. All right, so we remove the felt. Remove our first piece of cotton. No wick. Oh, there it is, right there. There's a little piece of it. All right, so let's see what else we got. It's just scrunched up at the beginning. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, I thought I was going to say. But look, this is basically only three pieces of cotton. Look how small this is. Instead of the usual four or five. All right, so let's repack this the proper way. Take it out. Straighten her out. You take your insert for a measurement where you want to be you got to remember that there's a pipe there and you can do it one of two ways you can do it this way or I think what Zippo is trying to do but their machine is stopping them from doing it I think what they're trying to do is have it in there this way so we'll pack this one like that I'm pretty sure that's what they're trying to do so all right so then we find the hole Trying to get it on film so I can show. Sometimes the little copper pieces get caught on the edge and you don't get her in. And then you ruin your wick and you gotta re-straighten it. It'd be easier if this is in front of my face. I'm trying to look around the camera here. Okay, then I got the tip in. Then you just grab a pair of tweezers or pliers and you can pull it through the rest of the way and sometimes it stretches it and fluffs it up which is fine so push it back into the length you want now that i got that done grab some strips make these into strips i mean uh very small balls in this it seems very weird okay not like the other uh, zippo inserts i've been unpacking I wonder if this is the new packing method for 2021 then. I don't know how many 2021 Zippos I've done to this too. I think I did it all to 
2020 Zippos. Okay. And so we're left with an extra piece of cotton. We'll just divvy it to a little of each half. It breaks up fine. Cut it right down the middle. There we go. Now everything's even. Okay. And then we grab our World War II mess knife to repack this World War II replica Zippo. And we want to take our wick, place it on one side, nice and tight, grab our first wad that we made into strips here, and push it in uh, evenly. You want to make sure you're doing this evenly on both ends, that's why I'm doing it end to end. There we go. Perfect. Now we take it out. Oh, a little cotton hanging there. All right, take it out, put your finger on the back to hold that cotton in. And now before you, st before you stab it in, you gotta, you gotta find the wick and push it up against the cotton. And so when you're looking in there, there's no wick. It's all pushed up against the cotton. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to get an uh, even amount of saturation on the wick at all times. It uh, makes for better performance and a longer lasting wick. So that's why we do it. And this is what this is how I'll be doing every unboxing video now because you should be repacking your inserts. I want to get people used to it. Uh, if you use an insert out of the box by Zippo, unfortunately, it's not going to work at its max capacity. Uh, it will work, yes. It will not be working at max capacity, unfortunately. With this method here, uh, you will be running full tilt. All right, so there we go. Now we're just going to put everything back. Wherever I put it, there it is. Like I said, I'm not going to put the flint back in here because I'm just going to use a butane in this uh, Zippo. I'm not going to be carrying this Zippo. I'm just going to have it on the table. I like, to, I like to take my Zippos in and out of rotation and just have them on the table with a butane insert in it. Uh, just so they all get used and they all get the same amount of love. And uh, I don't know. I like switching it up. I don't like having the same Zippo all the time. All right, guys. So that was my video. I hope you found it useful. Everyone take care.